So, <laughs> before we parted ways, I told you it would never be another you. My heart is in the same place as you left it. <laughs> I swear, I still smell your perfume, and I remember every kiss. So long. I don't make love no more, baby. I make lust for. Explain to us your creative process do you start with a vision or do you start with the music first do you like to sample a lot um, sometimes it just starts in the mind you know i could be in a certain mood just come up with a melody or something like that but i do like to sample i go through like a lot of oldies like no specific oldies but i'll download like a thousand mp3s and just go through them like on a whole entire day like i'll spend the whole day not making one beat then go to sleep and wake up and start going through the ones I picked out individually, like the ones I like, come up with ideas, I don't know, something like that. Most of our fans love Wale, and we know that you produced his song The Breeze off of his mixtape More About Nothing, and we want to know like your the process for how that song came together, and if you sampled anything, could you like just explain to us that whole song basically? For the breeze, I was in a studio with Wale and he was looking for more like laid back beats. Kind of like, not necessarily like Rick Ross sounding beats, but just like laid back. And I played him maybe like two or three. And the breeze just ended up being one that like connected with him immediately. So it was kind of like he heard it, he came up with a hook in like two minutes. And then I recorded it like the same day, then they sent it to Wiz. I mean, that's how that As a producer, what artist in general do you look up to? Any type of artist that inspire your work or your work ethic or what you strive to become? Um, just anybody that's putting out hot music inspires me. Like, I don't look up to one particular artist. I mean, you could be somebody that nobody knows if you got a hot song and inspires them. Like, if, you're Jay-Z, if it's hot, it inspires me. Like, if it's not, then it won't, basically. Do you have any advice for people who are aspiring producers? Um, I don't know. I would say just keep working. Like, don't ever think you can't make it. You know, keep working every day. Stay hungry. Stay humble also. Don't think if you get one big placement, you made it. Like, just remember what got you to where you are and, like, keep that same attitude. I used to do beat battles, so it was like I was winning a few here and there, doing them in different states. But then I guess Raheem Devon was looking for, I guess, producers in the area for like hip hop because he started a label. And I mean, somebody gave him my number and he just called me one day when I was at work. It was like a random day, like in December 2008. That's and crazy. That's how that started. Did you go to school? Like, what did you do in between now and when you were like my age? I'm 18. I mean, I used to play basketball. And then like, I just stopped. <laughs> I started messing around with beats, like for fun. So it was like, this happened. So did you graduate from high school? Yeah. And then you just got a job and started working on music basically. Yeah. And then you made it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Don't you know, you take oh, I don't like this one bit. <laughs> 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 <laughs>